Hello Sphinxers. This article is about how to create dynamic dashboards using Streamlit's buttons. And it'll show you how to position the buttons, change the buttons, styles and color and size, placing buttons, um, creating custom buttons and using different buttons um, to upload, download and submit in the dynamic dashboard as seen in this image. And I'll walk you through how to do all these things in code and show you the example. So first of all, here's the code and I'll run it real the code to uh, show you the, show you what the, the dashboard looks like. So in case you don't know, the Streamlit is a um, platform to create low code uh, data charts and analysis. So what this, what this um, da dashboard is doing is it's, al it's allowing you to enter in um, and submit um, dates, I mean, uh, miles byte for a particular date. And then you can download this data. You can also select multiple people to, uh, or different people to, uh, track their biking. So it's basically a tracking app. You can clear the graph. You can, I really love the data. You can download the data in CSV. And then you can filter, filter the data to see data only after a certain date. So, and uh, and each of these is driven by a button. Um, there's five buttons on the screen, and then you can also upload a CSV and have that be read by the chart. Now let's clear the filter, or set the filter back. See, and then that miles bike got loaded in. Um, so the, yeah, those are the various buttons that are on the screen and I'll walk you through how I set up each of these buttons. So, to position buttons, you can use columns, um, and that will position the button side by side. And you can see that, oops. You can, you, you can see that on the, the, um, the various buttons, um, on the filter button and the download button. Um, See, I lost the. I rerun this so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see these buttons are put in a column or different columns, and some of these are on top of each other, and these were created by um, creating columns on the page. And you do this by creating a column and then you can use a with keyword and then all the things, all the things beneath the column are gonna be in that column that are indented within it. It's a it's kind of a scoping mechanism. And then to change the buttons, styles and color, you can use, you can do several things one thing you can do is you can change the the, um, the text color um, with this dot config toml file. It's a config file, and you just put it under a hidden file and um, Streamlit, and then that will uh, be read by Streamlit, and you can set some colors and background. And then it, it, it additionally, you can select. Um, a themes 
for uh, Streamlit. Um, and you can also, let's see, you can select, let's see, settings. You can set themes, you can dark, light, and that will change the button colors. Um, So that's another option uh, to select individual buttons to change their their color and size. You can uh, alter the CSS for the button, and there's this property um, ST button, and you can you can change all the button sizes and colors to make it customizable, or you can select the particular element. Um, and that was done clear some of these up that was done here where I just selected the um, I just selected this element by using its uh, Using its uh, CS, its selector. So when you do that, and you copy it. You'll get a long selector, like below, and you can use that to select the particular element and then customize it as you see fit. Um, so. There's also an on-click button event, and the on-click button event is what can be used to have a custom function, so it can customize your button. So I have this in the clear button, clear data uh, button that I have on the screen. Um, And there's a clear data right here, and this calls a custom function clear data, and it clears the data. It's going to clear the data frame or the set the the data frame that's put in the session. And I've uh, also created a custom button for filtering, so. There's a filter, and I have an on-click event that saves it to a session. And the session state um, just saves things uh, uh, saves things into a data frame after a particular date. So um, that's all the basic features of of the. Um, of the button and yeah I hope you're able to look at this tutorial and article and uh, figure out how to create dynamic dashboards using streamlit um, buttons best of luck sphinxers